Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 500. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 494 to 501. In this trick here, we want to calculate how many years somebody has worked. Two th uh, start date is uh, the 2007 to uh, 2010. I'm going to use the function year frac. Now, right off the bat, it won't give us the right answer, but then we'll um, do something interesting with it. So there's year and year frac. Year frac will give us, in this case, it'll give us, it looks like two years and some decimal amount. It needs the start date, comma, the end date. I'm going to ex accept the default with those square, the basis square brackets means that's we, we can leave it off and accept the default. Control enter, there it is. This person has worked 2.85 years. I'm going to copy this down. If, in fact, you don't want that decimal part, you just want the actual years, and when they finally get to uh, 8 23 2010 then that should say 3 then we'll just uh, put the integer function the integer function will take the number get rid of the decimals and go down so in this case it'll go down to 2 another way to do this is to use an undocumented function dated if dated if it doesn't even have a screen tip to tell you that you need to put the start date in first comma, the end date, comma, it doesn't even tell you that you have to put some code here. In this case, we want years, so we put in parent, in double quotes, a Y, close parenthesis. I have a whole video down here that shows you all the different things you can do with dated if. And, uh, but there you go, that will do it. It says dated if is going to say, hey, give me uh, how many years have gone by so far, completed years. Finally, if you, for some reason, uh, Anytime it got to a, a 2 in any decimal amount, you wanted to show 3. I can't imagine where this would be used. You could say uh, the later date. All of these earlier ones took the start date, first argument, end. Uh, in the second argument here, we're going to take the end my year. And year will just give us year. For example, it'll give us 2010 here. And we say minus year of this one. And that would give you the number three. So there you go. Uh, calculate how many years someone has worked. We'll see you next trick.